for me, Métis knowledge is, is a collection of the knowledge, the culture, the way of being, and the emotional attachment that Métis people have with those places that are important to them, those homelands that they settled and they grew up on, they raised their families on. I always think of Métis people as coming from the, from the best of both worlds and having strengths that are brought by Indigenous people, as well as some of those early settlers within Canada and the unique you know, intertwining of that that's created Métis culture and Métis people. For me, Métis knowledge is a holistic network of knowledge specific to the Métis Nation, and it's something that is truly multifaceted by leaning on history, land use, medicine, spirituality, stories, teachings, and respect, among many other things. What is specific to it, and um, Métis knowledge, is that it's the Métis Nation's own ways of knowing that come from our Métis elders and knowledge keepers that have been passed down to us through generations. We have our specific experiences, we have our specific interactions with the land, our teachings, our ways of doing things that are, that are really unique. And so for me, that's kind of what Métis knowledge is. I think that Indigenous people in general and Métis people obviously are included in this, are crucial for conservation and stewardship. Traditional knowledge, I think, is really important to be able to adapt and build resiliency into plan. We need as many different perspectives and worldviews as possible, and I think Métis play a really key role in that. Métis knowledge is a lens between what folks think is the Indigenous world and the, the Western world. Because Métis people are a mixture of both, we can really communicate things in a way that makes sense to both. And I think right now we're at a critical time where Western science is looking to weave in Indigenous knowledge systems, and Métis knowledge, I think, is already doing that. What I found a lot of is these knowledge systems are really, most of the time, are very complementary to each other. And that we're not dealing with disagreements, but we're dealing with agreements. What we actually need to do is build relationships among scientists and knowledge holders that getting, in my mind, I was like, well, get people out on the land and they can learn and share and they can see each other as equals. And then we're in a better space to, to understand each other. The Métis people are resilient people and they can be resilient in these ecosystems and their knowledge can allow for these ecosystems to rejuvenate. I think that Métis interpret and react to the impacts of climate change in creative ways, drawing on their Métis knowledge to find solutions which may help the larger society cope with these impending uh, changes from climate change. We're not gonna stop climate change, but what is required to deal with climate change is resilience. So how do we build resiliency into our ecosystems so that they can adapt? By their nature, from my perspective, like Métis people are just like so well suited for bringing that, that idea of resiliency forward in thinking about climate change. It's, it's definitely a process um, because Western science is not something that had the space for Indigenous knowledge. And so over the past few years, I have seen that openness to Indigenous knowledge systems becoming interwoven into that space. But at the same time, I think a lot of Western scientists feel threatened when they hear that this is a process that needs to take place because they either think that they need to learn this knowledge system or it's going to take over the existing Western science knowledge system. But in fact, they need to realize that Indigenous knowledge and Métis knowledge is something that can complement Western science. There's a desire to want to share knowledge, to want to connect with other communities, other Métis communities, other First Nations communities, government. There's just this strong desire to want to work together on such a big issue and to just be heard. You're sharing knowledge and you're seeing that you're not alone. We're all in this together. When we all come together and we all share the planning and we have safe space to share our concerns and our voices and work together to build adaptation strategies and being, being able to bring everyone together and know you're not alone, I think is very empowering or, or gives a sense of hope.